Have you ever played a sport before? Like in high school or maybe college or whatever, you, you played a sport and you hear the people rooting you on and it just makes you feel so good. Pretend you're doing that and then you double take and they're like, nah, 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 nah. and there's all the negative and spewing evil on you and you're like, what is this? While you are on Jesus and God's battlefield and the army, you're going to hear some things that are not very pleasant, maybe. As you march forward, you may hear something. And it be people giving you compliments and encouragement. That's what you want, encouragement. Or it could be people that are giving you slander and gossiping and lying and saying you're demonic and, and all this horrible stuff. And you're like, what is that? I helped, and you even helped them. Either way, if you helped them or not, or their people or whatever, you keep marching on, okay? And when people gossip and slander, backbiting, malice, there's more strife, division, competitiveness, jealousy, envy, hatred, anger, rage. And you know, you know what? When people speak negative, life and death, the power of life and death is in the tongue. When, you, when they speak negative, it can kind of spiritually tag you. I don't know how to explain it spiritually, but that's what I see. You could translate, I, if you can get translation, ask the Holy Spirit. But when they're speaking negative, it can actually, you know, bring you down. It can bring your confidence down or to forget, forget this part. Might as well don't even go to the finish line or, you know, or, or whatever it is. Making a point, going down the court, whatever it is. You're like, you could break that off spiritually. I break that off. And you say their names if you know it, or location, or the date and everything. I break all negative vows, or curses, and judgments. The people, da, 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 and anybody else that placed upon me. And then you could say your full name now in Jesus' name. Only through Jesus, okay? Only through Jesus. So the decision is, are you going to keep going, soldier? You're in the army. You're going to hear positive, and you're going to hear negative. Which one are you going to listen to and which one are you going to break off? Because when people talk negative, it could be a negative, you know. Like I said, negative vows were curses and judgments, negative prayers. If they're into witchcraft, they're going to be doing occult practices, hex, vex, you know, it could be chants, spells, etc. So you're, you're going through on the battlefield, you're going to hear positive. Yay! Yay! Go, 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 go! And they're like rooting you on. And you're like, oh, they have a wonderful heart and they're very supportive. They, you know, they have to, they root you on either spiritually, mentally, or physically. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to have, oh, they can't stay away from her. She's not good. You know, or he's not good. He's, he's demonic. You know, which one are you going to listen to? Which one? As a human being, it does hurt that side. But you know, through Jesus, you're special, you're loved, you're worthy, you do matter on this earth. Forgive the humans. Break off the negative stuff they say spiritually. Break it off. Any witchcraft, break it off through Jesus only, only through Jesus, and receive the positive. Break it off in Jesus. You may have to do it daily. In my line of work, daily. <laughs> It's people you work with daily, relatives, depends, and in anything that the negative says to you, you know, am I, am I, you know, this and that, whatever they call me, and then you ask God, because you got to be fair. If that is true, humble yourself, be transparent, go to God, you know, God, I repent for, blah, 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 blah. But if not, it, you just break it off or additional to break it off and and just stay forward because if not it could weigh you down and all of a sudden you're like you're you know you're just like you know going across the court or something you're just like you're just, just going you you know i'm the righteousness of god lord pick that in jesus name thank you god for all the people that you know you pray for those people you forgive at 100 percent and you take in the positive. And being a leader in whatever you're in, on God's army, 
if the humans know it or not, you're in God's army and on the battlefield, listen to Jesus and he will pull you through. But do not let those humans bring you down because a lot of them are jealous. Like I mentioned those things before and you just need to move forward, soldier. Because not, it can make you, you're human. Your soul could get depressed and like, I'm sending this one out. You think the Holy Spirit wants you to sit it out because people are talking negative? No. You focus on the positive. You forgive the negative and break it off in Jesus' name and you move forward. Easier said than done. I know. I'm human too. So you just keep going, soldier. You're doing a great job. And you keep going and through Jesus, you're the righteousness of God and you're worthy to be on the battlefield and you're worthy to move forward and be used by God in whatever area and whatever season in Jesus' name. Bye and march on.